Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. The crazy train has opened a new depot in Hartford. Back in April, families who lost children in the Sandy Hook massacre in 2012 filed a defamation suit against radio crazy person Alex Jones for initially saying on his crazy person's electric radio program that the massacre was a hoax and that their children were not really dead, but, rather, crisis actors in a drama aimed at grabbing all the guns. Later, Jones copped to believing that the massacre actually happened. What a guy. The lawsuit has progressed now to an attempt by Jones and his interesting legal team to dismiss the suit. This means that Jones and his interesting legal team have to present documents supporting their motion. This means fun. From CBS News, Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein relied on allegations from Deep Throat to link the Nixon administration to the Watergate break-in, his lawyers wrote in filing for a dismissal. Such journalism, questioning official narratives, would be chilled if reporters were subject to liability if they turned out to be wrong. There are also lawsuits filed in Texas, where Jones Crazy Person's electric radio program is based. There, an interesting character named Wolfgang Halbig is also named as a defendant. Halbig, a former police officer who lives in Sorrento, Florida, said in April that he believes people died in the shooting, but that authorities refuse to clear up what he believes are discrepancies in the official story. Jones acknowledged allowing Halbig and others to question the shooting on his show, but said he has a constitutional right to do that. To stifle the press, by making them liable for merely interviewing people who have strange theories, will simply turn this human tragedy into a constitutional one, his attorneys wrote. To be entirely honest, this case does contain some interesting constitutional questions. It will test the constitutional limits on things like talk radio, pundit TV, and the wilder fringes of internet broadcasting.